Okay, friends. So what I, what we are going to discuss today is about uh, uh, this switch. This a uh, this a uh, this model. You're looking at it here. Yeah? This is um three seven five zero uh, E series. You can see it. Look at the the this place. Normally, A series A series uh, normally look like this. And uh, look at this side. It is a Cisco switch. You can see it. It is a Cisco switch. So what what do we have here today? This uh, switch have a problem, and the problem it has is um uh, that's a frozen boot, as it normally called it. It doesn't enter console, or it will enter console sometimes. It will hang on the way. So so that is it. So we want to discuss about it today. I want to show you. I want to plug the power. This is the power. I want to plug at the back. You can see. It's on now. You can see it's blinking. You can see it's blinking right here. Small time now. It will freeze. It has freeze like this. It has freezed. If you leave it till uh, uh, next day, you know, it's not going to move from here. So this is the issue we want to treat today. So as I told you before, I have treated this case before, but not with this switch. This switch case is totally different. Totally, totally different. So this case here, I I want to, you know, you know some people will tell you to you know to you know use a heat gun around this place uh his gun is not going to solve this very problem uh this is a you know a very uh, technical issue but i will show you how to how to fix it i don't want to take too much time i will show you how to fix it but first of all i I think sometimes, uh, uh, okay, let me put it this way. Let me go straight to the point. Instead of running around, I can, as you can see, it's still there. It does not move from each from it. If you leave it like this, it's going to be like this till tomorrow morning or till next year, rather, or till infinity. So, we want to fix this issue. Uh, let us begin. So let me remove the power first. Let me uh, 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 remove the board. I want to remove the board. So let me remove the board. I have to uh unscrew this unscrew this unscrew this all these uh, uh big heat sinks all these uh, are attached to the to the case to the to this uh, uh this case and all all of them are attached here so even if i remove all the other even though i have removed the these screws here all over the board if i did not remove this you see cannot be able to remove the board from a uh, from this this place you're talking about right now i just want to show you everything is going to this uh, video is going to take a while but uh you will learn something from it you have to remove this as well this module it uplink a uh, sap module you have to remove it as well
and um, uh, there's some screw holding it at the back so I want to turn the back place I have to use my um, my small screw star screwdriver in these uh, five black screws of the back Without it, it cannot come out. So that's why you have to check when you are about to uh, remove uh, uh, the board and it refused to come out. You check for some whether there's some screw holding it back. <coughs> and you need to remove this as well. Then uh, these are the where these are the legs where these are these are uh, the the uplink module is attached. So I have to use my plier to remove it. There are three of them, three legs. You can see. You see one here, then uh, and also there are three of them holding the module, so you have to remove it. Without removing it, the bug is no long, it's not coming off at all. So you have to remove it. A lot of work to do. Us. to just use a plier and make it loose if I am able to make it loose then <clears throat> make it loose And also this power, this power is attached to this board. So before this board it can be able to come out, and also this fan is attached to the board. Without removing them, the board cannot come out. So you have to push it slide it backwards away from the the board. Then you lift it. When when you refuse to lift up, you check whether there is a. I have not unscrewed this. Sorry. So I have uh, unscrewed all of them. So I have to lift it like this from the back. You hold the back like this. Here. Lift it up. So the board is coming out. And the board is out so uh, our problem here right now is, uh, is this guy the problem is is this guy uh, there's a, a what you call the memory RAM the RAM is a uh, is having some problems 
so but first of all you have to identify which one because when you open this one you see there's four of them here you must be able to identify and i'm going to show you how to do that right now let me first uh, remove or uh, remove this first this heat sink on the on the rear i have to unloose this thing from the back this is a white uh, coke holding it i have to remove it so that we can be able to remove this So this is the back of the board. Um, the tray hook holding it is uh, this one you're seeing here. Why this white something? White dirt. This one as well. And also this one. This one. There are three of them. Three of them holding it. So what you do? What you do is uh, I've used uh, this plier. I've used this plier to to make it easier to push it towards the front push them towards the front bring the legs the white legs together then push it to the front how would I do so what we do next we come over to here and uh, use the same plier to make it loose it's now loose then go to the back again because it's still strong to remove it so this is this is the ram here these are the rams I'll show you these are four of them so this issue this thing that happens here one of these guys have a problem how do you identify the problem which one that has this very problem you're going to there's a technique I'm going to show you right now uh, but first of all I want to fix uh, this board back so because I'll be working uh, on this board inside the case inside this case here I'll put it back and uh, I will also need this uh, a power pack everything complete the reason why I have to remove the board is to make uh, uh, to remove this particular heat sink to remove it without a uh, uh, cutting it that's the reason the main reason is to remove the the heat sink that's the reason you have to remove the board i have to fix it uh, so that to enter back here because i need to work on it why in the board okay we're here so um let me put the indicator channel this indicator channel let me put it back because i remove it while removing the board so that we can be able to uh check this uh indicator So let me check whether it is fit. it's fitted very well. So it's it's it's, it's fitted very well, as you can see there. It's fitted very well. You can see it. So. That's a technique I want to show you right now. Um, some like this, when you on them, when you uh, when you plug the power, let me plug the power. You see, when you plug the power, it will flash this first light, and it will just stand still. 
but this one the issue with this guy is uh, this guy have a have a, this kind of problem that uh, it has to count up to 30 30 blink you see it's blinking when it blink up to 30 it will stop like this i want to show you that let me remove the power and put it again and let us count this together is it flash one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nine twenty twenty one twenty twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven eighteen nine thirty it stops us thirty can you see that and if i put it again if you count up the thirty it will to stop so let it do it again i remove the power and I put it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. You see it again? Okay. So let me let me show you something. Let me first of all turn on this my my head drum. It's not on. So I put my head gun at a uh, uh, three six seven uh, 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 degree centers. So what you can still put it maybe a three. Uh, 330 can work, 350 can work, 370 as well, but let it not be too high. So, I check, I just small heat, I'll just put it like this. So close. I just hit this one. Small, the first one close to the fan, and I remove it. I put this all back. Let us go. I'm trying to capture both the this face and the, the, the RAM at the same time. So let us repeat it again. Your one hand with your left hand should be at the back like this so that after you hit it immediately you put the power immediately so that you, you can be able to check it because when you take small time when it cools then it means the heating is gone that's the reason why I have, I'm taking you this way understand that okay let's start let me check one two three then you put the power then it flashed and it's flashing you count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twelve i missed the counting that's the reason why it's still at thirty it is not this one so I have to remove the power again then I hit the second one again I hit it don't hit it too much don't bring it close to the line too much then it flashed let's start again counting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 36. You see, it's going on. Yeah, yeah, it's still moving. It's still moving. It's still moving. It's, it's actually this guy. 
that is the cause of the problem you can see you can see it's blinking you see pam 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 you see the different pattern of blinking that you have not seen before before it's pam 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 now it's pam 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 this one is much faster and let me remove it again this thing i just did now when you remove it huh? when you remove it it's going to um 